Two years ago, the name Arthur Fleck hit Gotham like a hurricane. The trial of the century. They believe Arthur Fleck to be some kind of martyr. <laughs> well, he's not. He's a monster. I just got back from watching Joker fully ado. Um, I'm very split on this film. I think I liked it. I really wanted to like it. I liked a lot about it. The cinematography, the soundtrack, the performances were great, but... There's something about it that doesn't feel earned. There's something about it that's missing. Something that's just not there. I don't, I really don't know how to place it, but... <laughs> What are you doing here? I'm just enjoying the feeling of success. Another cinematic entry into this little genre. Enjoying some V for once. Victory. Right. I saw you at the film and you didn't say hi. I assumed you came back here to get a review going. Well, I was just talking about the, the film right now. I think we elevated the material. Well, giving audiences a cinematic exploration into what a true psychopath is like. I mean, it was, uh, uh, you know, it was something for sure. I could see throughout your face in the theater that you liked it. I, first thing I said right now was that I think I liked it. You think you liked it? Yes, I think I What do you mean it. you think you liked it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think what's keeping me from really understanding how I feel about it is what motivated you to go in the direction that you did. And I know that this is very much a response to the first film. I know that the first film was so highly regarded and so impactful. It is one of my favorite DC films. It's one of my favorite comic book films, but this isn't. Can you not appreciate the fact that we made one of DC's best films again. What is it that you're trying to say here? I'm, I'm confused about it. A riveting love story, not only about relationships and acceptance, but with a musical motif upon it. I didn't think the problem was the musical aspect. The problem is that at the end of the first film, you had an arc. You became the Joker. It says in the script that you become the Joker, and by the end of this one, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what you guys were thinking, where you thought you could just evaporate everything about the last film. The journey you went on. This movie is about more than just bam pow that you find in something like the MCU oh, okay. or even the DC. Okay. This movie is about the roles that we take within our lives and the way we're pushed into certain directions within life, juxtaposed with expectations from the audience. So many people got the wrong idea from the first film that they just lost their minds. They didn't know what to make of me, so they chose to idolize me. <laughs> fine with that, of course, but it forced us to make this great sequel. You make the first film mean less than it did. <laughs> I'll be honest, I liked a lot of this film. I liked a lot of how the Joker was represented. The number one thing we want to see with the Joker is him be confident, confident enough to take on the world, let alone Batman someday. And we had sequences within the film where Joaquin inhabited that perfectly. But for you to just throw it away, wipe your hands and be like, oh, never mind, it actually wasn't him the whole time. <laughs> How is that respectful to your audience? It's, what's the problem? We we took a risk again. Favor fortunes the bold, and I think we were bold enough to make a fortune. That is so wrong. That is so wrong. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't get it. I was totally fine with a new interpretation of this character, of the Joker, as we know him from the comic books and previous films. And I was excited to see that explored here, and I felt like for a lot of the film, it was being explored. But at the end, you went in a way that made me and plenty of other people in the audience feel hollow. We are deconstructing the idea of the Joker, what it means to be the character. Because nowadays, you have to spell it out for people. They don't understand. They don't get it! And I see you don't get it either, even though we're making it pretty fucking clear what we're trying to say here. What we're trying to do! Okay. This was never the story of the Joker that you wanted. I'm sorry we didn't put a Batman, we didn't put a fight scene, we didn't put a Batmobile or anything like that in this film. We made a movie that had something to say. It was the story of Arthur Fleck. 
But people don't want to see the story of Arthur Fleck. They just want the same names that they get over and over and over again for nearly a hundred years. This movie bombing, the fact that people identified with me, the fact that they don't get the joke and weren't laughing or appreciating what we were saying this time around proves exactly what we're trying to say. You're just sheep and you have no sense of humor. And you don't get it. I thought you weren't supposed to be the Joker. <laughs> Honestly, I can't picture watching the first film again. I mean, seriously, I, I loved that first film. And I didn't really think it needed a sequel. Back in my mind, I knew it was kind of inevitable. It was a billion dollar making R-rated film. Oscar winning. But to know that this is where the story actually ends. And all the ambiguity of the first film is not only disregarded, but evaporated. Why would I watch these films again? It all led up to this film where essentially the audience is being laughed at. I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> there are these two guys who live in a lunatic asylum and one day they realize that they don't like living in a lunatic asylum anymore and they stage a prison break so one night, they get to the roof and they see civilization across the way. Rooftops over the seabed. But they can't reach it. One of the guys says, hey, I have an idea. Why don't I just use my flashlight and create a beam? And we can just walk across and we'll get away. And the other guy says, what are you, crazy? You'd just turn it off if I were halfway across. <laughs> that actually... That actually... Thank <laughs> you.